Praise God, praise God, glory, glory, glory be to the Father. Hallelujah to his name. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I haven't done one of these in a while, but I, I was awakened this morning by the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory, glory, glory. Give him praise, give him honor. And I heard the Father, so this is a thus said the Lord. He said, my people are falling away from me. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. He said, even in the church, come on, somebody. He says, it's like it's a facade. It's like the world is tainting my people and, and, and what, and they love to have it. So thus said the Lord, Oh, come on, some other hallelujah this morning. And, and God was saying, he said, this should not be children of Israel. Have you forgotten your God? Have you forgotten how he took you out of Egypt? And yet you are returning to Egypt. Oh, come on, some other hallelujah. God says that people are chasing fame, money. Oh, come on, some other hallelujah. I, I have to say some hard things this morning, but, but I, I got to hallelujah. You know, it's okay. The the world says that you have to be successful, but I want to challenge you all this morning. What is success? Come on, somebody. That's my title. What is success? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This is a thus said the Lord, but I'm putting a title on it. What is success? Because success to God is he, he says, I, I wish that you prosper even as your soul prosper. God don't care how much you have in the bank, what you drive, where you live. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But people, people have put standards. Oh, oh if you don't make this, if if you don't do this, if you don't have this, then you must not be of God, which is a liar before God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God said, I wish that thy soul prosper. What is it to gain the whole world and lose your soul? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell a testimony this morning. I remember being in LA and, and that's why I talk about the Illuminati. That's why I talk about stuff, baby. I've been there. I was there. I understand what it's like. I remember when I got in LA, I was in Sacramento. So don't just walk with me this morning. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. Just walk with me. And, and so I remember I, I, I said, God, I, I, I'm not being fed in Sacramento. And so God had released me to go to Los Angeles. So I, I went to Los Angeles. But what I didn't understand is that I was getting ready to have one of the most hardest trials of my life. Oh, come on, somebody, people of God this morning. I'm going somewhere with this. And, and God had blessed me, you guys. I mean, I was blessed. I had favor among favor. I never will forget that part in my life. But something happened. And, and, and I know I love God, but you have to understand if you don't stay rooted, if you don't stay prayed up, if you don't stay fast up fasting, let me tell you what will happen. The enemy will slowly convert you. Oh, you don't hear what I'm saying this morning, huh? And I'm telling you, I'm a mighty woman of God, not trying to promote myself or nothing like that. I just know what I'm working with. Come on, somebody. And yet I found myself under deception. I found myself doing things that I say I never do, y'all. I stopped going to church. I, I, I don't know what God a hold of me. Um, uh, maybe, may I tell you just the truth? I, I guess I started chasing fame and, and, and fortune and money and men. Oh, I'm going to tell the truth up in here this morning. Hallelujah. And I found myself uh, getting away from God. This was in LA. This is when I had met Stevie Wonder and all this stuff. So I know what I'm talking about. Something had came over me where I started getting arrogant. I remember one time I was talking to this guy and I said, I'll buy you like as if you could buy somebody. Right. But I, I, I was making so much money and I, I had got high money and prideful. And next thing you know, I begin to fall. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I begin to fall. I begin to sin against God. And, and so I said, God, what is this? I, I didn't even know it was, it was something over me. And that's because here's just the deal. What's ever in you will begin to work. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's why you know a liar when you see a liar. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. What's in you must come out of you. Thus said the Lord. Hallelujah to his name. And so what I'm saying is I never forget that dream that actually catapulted my life and, and that's why I'm on this call this morning oh come on somebody hallelujah I remember God gave me a dream. It, it was, I don't even remember the day, but I remember the year. I think it was 2006. And so long story short, I, I remember the dream. It, it was like God, God, it was, came in my dream. So it was so, so vivid. He said, Deanna, be careful what you're doing. He said, do you want this or do you want that? And what he was saying is he was saying, do you want the fame and the riches, what you're doing? Or, 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 or do you want your spirit? And, and he said, because you're getting ready to sell your soul. 
I'm going to keep it very transparent because you need this this morning. And I'll never forget that dream scared me, you guys. That dream scared me so much until I woke up that next morning and I started crying because I knew I had sinned against God. Oh, I'm going somewhere this morning. And I knew I had sinned against God. And I cried. And I cried. And I cried. And I said, God, don't let me lose my soul because of what I think I want. And I repented. I said, God, I repent. Hallelujah to his name. So I know what I'm talking about when I say that, that there's the great falling away when he woke me up this morning. That's why I have a passion for what I do. I know how easy you can get entangled in stuff because you want stuff. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Following the world or even following your own ambitions called success. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going back around to that thing called success. And, and, and I remember I told God, I said, do whatever you want to do. And I lost it all. I lost it all. I have to admit, I lost it all. I had to move back to Sacramento and I felt shame and embarrassed. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But what people didn't know is that I was okay because I, I, I had lost a lot materially, but I had gained something internally. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's when God really began to work with me. That's when God gave me the anointing. That's when God let me know that you got to do this thing for real. It has to be a relationship. Anybody can preach. Anybody can teach if you have the anointing of God. But when you have the power of God, you have the presence of God. Oh, come on, somebody. And that has to be by a relationship and only a relationship. That means nothing should come between you. Oh, come on, somebody. Not family, not money, not friends, not son, not daughter, not husband, not wife. Hallelujah to his name. You don't hear what I'm saying this morning. And so what is happening in this hour? Oh, come on, somebody. Let me speak it plainly. I see the great fall in the way that he's talking about. He woke me up this morning and he said, tell them, hallelujah, that they have fallen away from me. They have fallen prey to the enemy because of money, fame, success. Oh, you don't hear what I'm saying. The enemy thinks to taint you. Oh, just like he did Jesus. He took him on a pinnacle and he said, if thy would fall down and worship me, I give you this. I'll give you that. I give you all the kingdoms and the glory of this world. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Why do you think they call people stars? And now I, I, I made a little rap song, y'all. And that was the only rap song because, you know, that was back in the day. And one of the things that the rap song was talking about is everybody want to be a star. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going somewhere with this this morning. And it isn't it the truth. Everybody want to be a star. Everybody want followers. Everybody want this. Everybody want that. You don't want God. Oh, come on, somebody. At least not first anymore. I'm telling you what just said the Lord. But God said that his presence and his power is on this earth. He says, so choose ye who you will serve this day. Hallelujah. Because you can't serve God and and mammon. You can't serve God on the devil. Oh, hallelujah to his name this morning. You better pick and you better pick wise and choose wisely said the Lord. Hallelujah. There's a great falling away, people of God. There's a great falling away. I see it. I see it. And I gotta say something. If the presence of God is not in your preaching, not in your teaching, not in your singing. Oh, come on somebody. I'm talking about the gospel industry. Don't y'all know the Illuminati has gotten over to the gospel industry. If you are singing for God, preaching for God, doing anything for God, and we cannot feel the presence of God in that message, it is not of God. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. Let me tell you, it's commercialized. What is commercialized? It sounds secular. It acts secular. It is secular. It has nothing. It does not glorify the presence of God, the power of God, the fire of God, the anointing of God. What am I saying this morning? The enemy wants to shut down the anointing of God, the power of God, the fire of God. Nay, said the Lord. Nay, said the Lord. I am God. I am Alpha. I am Omega. I am the beginning. I am the end. I am the great I am. My power will be on the earth. My remnant will come alive. Hallelujah to his name. There's a remnant. There's a remnant. There's a remnant. There's a remnant. There's a remnant that won't compromise. There's a remnant that won't give up. There's a remnant. There's a remnant that has the power of God. There's a remnant that has the power to heal. There's a remnant. Hallelujah to his name. That has the fire of God. The power power of God, the healing of God, the deliverance of God. Oh, hallelujah. I see the dead rising. Hallelujah. I see limbs growing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to his name. Hallelujah. God said, my church came in power and I'm going out in power. He says, my church will be spotless. Oh, hallelujah. Wrinkle free. Oh, hallelujah 
Lord to his name. God is returning order to the church. God is returning order to the church. In this hour, you will be exposed. In this hour, you will be dealt with. Hallelujah to his name. Return to the Lord. Repent, saith the Lord, for the kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of God is at hand. It is not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Hallelujah to his name. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. There's a power. There's a power in this hour that only you can get if you're pure. Oh, come on, somebody. You cannot be transformed without the presence of God, the power of God, the fire of God, the anointing of God. Oh, stay rooted and grounded, my friends, because the enemy is trying to taint you. Because once you're tainted, you have no power. Hallelujah. Power to heal. Power to deliver. Power to speak. Power to break the yokes off of your family, your friends, and even your enemies. Hallelujah to his name. Oh, I tell you, God is doing something. God is doing something in this hour. But also is the enemy. The enemy is rising, you guys. This is the time of the Antichrist. But God said, nay, we should not be overtaken. Hallelujah. Stay rooted. Stay grounded. Oh, don't let money get you. Oh, come on, somebody. Fame, fortune. Don't let it test you. Oh, come on, somebody. Notice what I said. It will test you. And actually, it will break you. Because guess what? What's in you must come out. Whatever you desire, that's what he used. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Walk with me this morning. That's what he used. He used your own desires against you. Oh, come on, I play. I give you what you want. I give you what you need. Oh, come on, somebody. As if God, as, as if God cannot give you what you want and you need. Come on, somebody. Because let me tell you right now, you're going to have to pay the piper. Oh, I'm going to say some hard things on here. You're wondering why some of these stars die. Because guess what? After they sold, they sold. Now it's time to pay the piper. And yet we, we cry and we get mad. But I'm going to tell you the truth. You got to understand their portion of what they chose. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because you have the same choice this morning. You have the same choice. What will you choose, said the Lord? Who will you choose, said the Lord? Hallelujah to his name. Oh, come on, somebody. People don't like real teaching anymore. Real preaching anymore. Hallelujah. There's no conviction. If there's no conviction, there's no change. If there's no change, there's no presence of God. Hallelujah to his name. Oh, hallelujah. 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 So God bless you. God keep you. Hallelujah. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who you are. God bless.